It all started here at Örebro University 17 years ago. And I came here because part of the national reference functions, sexually transmitted infections, had been established here. We are asking the right question. We have uh, experience and we have uh, good people working with us. Well, I, I think it's a, a, in, in terms of science, uh, we have a completely different background. I am the biochemist. I am the doctor. There are only uh, uh, vaccines against 25, 30 human diseases uh, available, and perhaps half of them are really good. Uh, so th this, this is a huge potential for preventive healthcare that is not utilized. If I can contribute something uh, in that area, it would be, make me very satisfied. Chlamydia should not be neglected. It's one of the most common sexually transmitted infections in the world and definitely in our part of the world. Uh, it can uh, cause problems uh, like infertility and also increase the risk of attracting uh, other sexually transmitted infections. When we uh, started to, 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 to look at the, the theory behind uh, this uh, vaccine candidate, we realized fairly soon that uh, there are a, a couple of uh, uh, surface molecules, loops, that, that is, of the bacteria that is exposed for the immune system that are important. And uh, that's as far as I got. And I said, that we need to express this somehow. Can you do that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and... Uh... I started uh, looking at those uh, different loops that, and see which ones were seemed to be fairly easy to produce. I mean, you, you need to know what you're doing and you need to have the experience. I think at the drawing board I was coming to a conclusion that we needed what pieces were needed to, to get as much of these putative antigenic uh, loops as possible. And then, of course, they didn't, they were not stuck together. They were not in one sequence. They were from different parts of the protein. You had to link them together in some way. And you had to link them in a way that they didn't cancel out each other's uh, function. So it was a little bit of engineering to, to get that right. So that's how it started in those days.